Well, hello there. You must be here to find out how to turn this big chunk of suet into a creamy whipped body butter. So let's jump right into it. As you can see right here, I am just cutting the suet into really small pieces. And you can see that there's still some of the connective tissue that's there. And I just rip it apart with my hand. Not a big deal at all. So I really recommend that you try to cut the suet as small as possible because this helps it to render the fat out a lot faster when you put it in the slow cooker. So right here, it probably took me about 20 minutes to get this uh, big chunk cut into really small pieces. So this is what it looked like after I was done cutting it up. I, I just placed it in my Instant Pot and I hit the slow cook setting and set that to four hours. I checked the pot each hour and I just stirred it. So this is after the first hour. And then right here, this is after the second hour. You can see that there's more fat that's being rendered out. And then this is after the third hour. And then finally, this is after the fourth hour of it being slow cooked. Now, obviously there's more fat to be rendered out, but for the purpose of this video, I stopped it right there and I just strained um, the liquid out. Now, from just four hours of slow cooking, I was able to get uh, a little bit over a cup worth of tallow out. And this is what I am going to use to actually make the whipped butter. Now, with the remaining fat that is left, I just went ahead and I put it back um, in my Instant Pot and set that for six more additional hours so that the remaining fat could be rendered out and I can use that for something else. Okay, so now on to the fun part. It's important to have the fat in liquid form. So if you're using store-bought tallow, be sure to melt it first. And all I'm doing here is just pouring it in my mixture. This is a stand-in mixture, but obviously you can use a hand mixture as well. And I just mix it for one minute and I'm going to do this for four different times. So after I mix it for one minute, I allow it to sit for 10 minutes. This is what it looks like after the first 10 minutes, right? So I'm going to do this for a total of four times. So I just mix for a minute, let it stand for 10 minutes, and then I come back and I repeat the process again for a total of 40 minutes. So I hope that makes sense. So mix for a minute and let it stand, sit for 10 minutes, then come back, mix for another minute, and so on. So you do that for a total of 40 minutes. It's important to mix it in between waiting because when you do this, you don't have to add any other carrier oils to keep the mixture soft even after it's um, been you know sitting out for a while so you don't need any other carrier oils when you do this because whipping mel melted tallow like this adds ear ear and makes the texture softer once the it actually cools so you can add carrier oils if you would like, but for those that would prefer to just use tallow, this process is extremely helpful. And I forgot to mention that I did add some essential oils to the mixture, so you can feel free to add essential oils if you would like. Now, you will notice that as you continue to mix it um, over the course of the 40 minutes that the texture begins to change and this is what it looks like at the very end so this is just such a cool process and such great results so look at all of this creamy goodness right here 
with this whip towel. And all I'm going to do is just um, use my spatula and put it in my um, mason jar that's right there. And I wanted it to look pretty for some pictures. So at the very top, I just put some in a plastic bag and cut a hole in the plastic bag and just squirted it out. I did this so that I could have just a pretty design on top to take pictures. It's a pretty simple uh, process and this was really creamy and just, again, very um, nourishing for both skin and for hair. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You be blessed.